friends, it's me. It's your favorite speckled YouTuber. Back at it again for another video. Today we are checking out this guy who has a bunch of stray dogs and puppies in his village and he wanted to do something about it. He was like, dogs are better than people. They deserve to live a life of luxury. So using his bare hands, he built them a whole entire estate. So this is some real architectural work right here. He got a bunch of the sticks, tied them all together. I wonder what they're tying them with because they never actually show that. Ooh, got to make the doorway, put some windows in it, and then we're going to make our clay. So basically he just made the mud. Ooh, going to use his feet. It's a one-man job. You got two hands, two feet. It's like having two mans. And then he's just going to plaster it. Make the roof. Ooh, it's becoming a doghouse. That's crazy how you can just do that. It's like a little adobe house. Adobe doggy house. Got to make it smooth. He made a bunch of bricks. Oh, I think he's making a fountain so the doggies can drink from it. Oh, that's gonna be like a mini pool. Oh, don't forget the grass. Gotta make this aesthetic. Doggies love grass. Put some grass everywhere. Gotta hide the fountain so they don't go chewing it like the animals they are. Gotta make it cute. Put some flowers. Pour some water in the big tub thing. Wham bam, yes ma'am, we got running water here. <gasps> oh no! They're so tiny. They're just puppies. He brought them in a basket. Oh no. This is way too cute. They're so stinking tiny. Oh, they love it. They love it. Go inside your new house. Stop humping each other. Y'all just got a new house and you out here humping each other? Oh my god, this was made out of bamboo. This guy gotta be some genius or something to be able to make this from scratch. Y'all really didn't just eBay this. Y'all made this from scratch. Oh, one fountain wasn't enough. We gotta make a dog bath. Dang, this must have taken a long time because those dogs are already significantly bigger. Oh, they're getting so big. Got them a bridge. Made them a little pool. Wow. These dogs out here living better than most people do. <laughs> He's making the dogs a koi pond. I don't know if those are actually koi, but like fish. Are the dogs gonna eat these? Can the fish survive in these conditions? I'm so confused. Okay, boys, it's over for us. We must formulate a plan to get out of here. Oh, they're so hungry. Oh, I love them. I love them. I love them. So fancy. Oh, their tails are like... <laughs> This is way too cute for me. I cannot handle this. So here you have it. The dog paradise. This is more fancy than most pet resorts. Man, I thought my dog house was fancy. And then y'all out here with this. That's way too cute. I am shooketh. Smash like if your dog deserves to live this life. The puppy paradise estate ain't enough. He also built an entire castle for the dogs. He's like, y'all the cutest dogs I have ever seen. Y'all deserve to live like royalty. This is what they were living in before. Just a hut, a hole in the ground. It's like, nah, it's okay. You don't have to live like this anymore. Hold my puppy basket. I'm a build y'all a new home. See, I feel like not anyone can do this. You have to like have some crazy skills. Y'all have to have like had the internet and seen some things to be able to to do stuff like this. He made like this whole entire elaborate structure that they're gonna live in. This is insane. I know it's just like sticks and bamboo and stuff, but look what you can do with that. Oh, that's gonna be like a spiral staircase. Fancy. I don't even have a spiral staircase. I don't even have stairs in my house. And he building them a whole entire castle. Oh my God, I saw him put that down. I'm like, why aren't the puppies moving? I thought that was the basket with the puppies, but it's the freaking clay. So we gotta put mud all over this bad boy. Gotta have some ivory towers. Gotta have windows. It's looking like an actual castle. He made all of this with sticks and dirt. Oh, don't forget water, the real star of the show. He put grass, okay. Puppies, this is your new home. Finally, we've been sitting in this basket for like three days. Oh, they're so teeny. What about the dogs? Are there dogs or are there only puppies? It's like, where am I? What are we doing here? Why is there a camera in my face? Are we on MTV Cribs? They don't even care. They're like, they just look at the castle and be like, 
Okay, I'm gonna sleep on this mighty fine piece of grass right here like I've been doing the rest of my life. <laughs> Ain't impressed. They won't even go inside. This is how I felt when I made my dogs a castle. I built them like a castle, dog house castle, and they wouldn't even go in it. I really hope they use the stairs. I put time and effort, my blood, sweat, and tears into this house. Let me see, let me see the tears. Cat, you better get over here. Get in your new house. Yes. Yes. Ugh. Yes. Oh, yes. Now, now face the camera. Face the camera. Do you guys like it? Do you guys like it? This is your new puppy house. It's your new puppy house. Lumpy's not impressed. Aw, uh, you guys don't like it? And to this day, they don't even use it. It's kind of sad. I'm very upset. Hope these dogs actually go in. Oh, they're going in. They're going in. Come on. Check out what your daddy made you. Oh, nothing like a puppy belly. I want to just like... Mm -mm. Oh, I love me a puppy belly. You always got the fattest bellies. King of the castle, king of the castle, I have a chair. Ooh, they're actually using the stairs. Oh, no way. Y'all probably put a treat at the bottom to entice him. Oh, of course he puts the food up there. Yeah, exactly. So they would make their way up there. Because I know dang well that my dogs wouldn't. They're like, oh, I will never climb to an unnecessarily high place. Oh, but they'll do it for some food. Oh, not even food. Water. That's how you know they thirsty AF. We got the whole squad here now. <laughs> he got it all over his face. Oh no, move, make space for him. Poor Cooper, he's trying to get the water. He, he can't even get his snoot in. So on his daily walk, you know, just getting materials, he found a whole herd of ducks. Is that called a herd? What is it when you have a lot of ducks? Dinner? I'm just kidding. Oh, he took all of them and then made a pond for them. There's a fish pond. There's a duck pond. You better hope those dogs don't get hungry. So this is how it started. Just one guy by himself digging up this whole entire thing. Is this what they teach him in school? How to survive and build a house for yourself? Okay, wow. By sundown, he already got like the main area. He got a coffee table, some stairs, a stool, some chairs. Making some fat progress real quick. It's insane how everybody has those baskets and just like picks up the dirt and just push, push. You know, fun fact, when you have stairs in a pool, this is how they do it. They just like carve it out of the ground like this. Gotta make sure to smooth it all out. Makes me wonder, is somebody holding the camera? Cause it's like swaying a little bit, but I don't know if that's like the wind. I'm always skeptical about these videos. Do they hire these people? Do they got like a whole camera crew ready? People to do things behind the scenes? I don't know. Smash like if you wanna believe this guy's doing all of it by himself. Okay, this is pool number one right here. See, this is what I would do. I would just take the clay and just Oh my god, that's a snake. He's trying to get water and then you got this thick boy slithering through the grass. Oh, he's gonna eat all the ducks. He's like Pac-Man in real life. The snake just gotta go like Delicious. Finally, some good hecking food. So he's taking bamboo, putting it under the dirt. I think water is gonna come out of those. Ooh, it's starting to look like a house now. So he's like, one pool isn't enough. We're gonna have two pools in this establishment. I want these animals to live a life of luxury. Oh, we got running water up in here now. I paid the water bill. We good. Oh, so this is basically an easy way so he doesn't have to keep going down the stairs. Pouring his vase of water in. That's how you do it. And then when one pool fills up, the other one will also fill up because he made that little irrigation system. That's not what it's called, but. <laughs> it's like actual fountains. Bro, I would be looking at this like, oh my God, it actually worked. Yeah, I'm a genius. He even made a tiny little bridge that goes into the water. Water. Our gate, the little ducks can't get out, oh, but we gotta make it aesthetic. You know, so they don't look at it and be like, ugh, this place crusty and dusty. I don't wanna live here. Oh, he finally put them in. Oh, you see that one? He just jumped off the bridge like, hey, watch me hecking get it. Hey! <laughs> oh, they having a good time. They love it, they love it. Okay, but where is that mom? Where is the big duck? Did she just abandon them? <gasps> or maybe she got eaten by the snake? Where is their mother? He's like, I'm your mother now. Oh, we brought the puppies. <gasps> oh, they're so stinky cute. They're so small. This is prime puppy size. I love them. I love them when they're this size. And they're just so stinky cute. You ever see a dog that's so stinky cute, you just want to like, oh, me all the time. Don't actually do that. Oh, man, life is good. I got my ducks in their pond. I got my puppies. This dude living the good life while doing the most good. Fish is having a good time. I don't know how long they'll survive in this water, though. I I love how they just keep climbing up and then just cannonballing in. Like, they just trying to have a good time. Look at all of them. Oh, 
They're having the best time. They're like, okay, we had enough of this. All right, take us home. Be ready to go home. Me at my friend's house after being there too long. Like, okay, what do we do now? Time to go home. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and the face. And make sure you turn on notifications. Click. Click. And subscribe to the Wolf Pack. Oh, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.